The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, let's talk a little bit more about fall, shall we? The current fall foliage as of today showing a whole lot of color extending from southern Colorado and northern portions of New Mexico all the way up to the U.S. Canada border. So the Rockies are beautiful right now. A lot of color towards New England as well. And we're starting to see our fair share of color here too. Certainly more color in the mountains than say towards the Piedmont. Most amount of color here locally out across Pocahontas and Greenbrier counties, although portions of Highland and Bath counties also having a, quite a bit of color as well. And then you head further south towards the NRV. Certainly some trees there looking quite pretty as well. Now, what you're going to notice here is within about the next week, you're going to see even more color. You're going to really see from now through about maybe the 18th or 19th, a whole lot more color showing up out across the NRV and Highlands. Again, there's good color right now, but peak color could, happen, could actually happen within about the next uh, three to five days out across portions of the NRV and Highlands. While uh, it's still going to take a little bit of time for that peak color to, in, uh, to enter places like the Lynchburg and the south side zones. So the obvious question that becomes when do we see peak color around here when it comes to fall foliage? The answer to that is in mid to late October for the most part. Okay, uh, so really within about the next week or so, we're going to start to see peak color in the mountains. And then as we head later this month, maybe even to the very, very early part of November, that's when we're going to start to see peak color out across portions of Lynchburg and South Side as well. All right, local view showing that we're dry. We're going to stay dry tonight. It looks like we're going to have a fair night in store for us as we extend the picture just a little bit for you. There's hardly any cloud cover here locally. There's not much cloud cover here regionally. To find any showers, you have to head up towards Canada, where they're dealing with their fair share of rain in the province of Ontario. <laughs> but those showers are not going to impact us. Future cast showing that high pressure is going to rule the roost for us here tonight and tomorrow as well. We're going to be watching this cold front. This cold front is going to slowly but surely be dipping to the south and to the east. And as it does, it is going to impact us here a little bit come Sunday night into very early Monday. But you need to know that Saturday is dry with our fair share of sunshine. Saturday night, skies are fair. Sunday starts out with a whole lot of sunshine too. But by late Sunday, may start to see a little bit of cloud cover streaming in towards the mountains. And eventually, a couple of showers could impact us here after the sun goes down Sunday night, especially into the mountains. I think a lot of those showers should be gone by around daybreak on Monday. Just know, though, that this front's not going to come through here with a lot of fanfare as far as moisture is concerned. But man, this front is going to change our weather big time. After a very, very warm weekend this weekend, upper 70s near 80. Temperatures fall into the 50s and 60s next week. Also watching Florida closely because they're going to be hit by another coastal low that could bring especially South Florida a pretty good chance for some tropical rain here as we go into Sunday, Sunday night and Monday. So areas that have just dealt with a whole lot of rain could deal with more over the course of the next 48 to 72 hours. Coming back closer to home here at 60 in Hot Springs. Right now it is 54 in South Boston, 55 in Martinsville, warmer in Roanoke at 65, 58 in Withville. 45 is your low tonight. Mostly clear, pretty chilly. Tomorrow, 78, lots of sunshine. Much warmer. Seven day forecast showing maybe a stray shower again late Sunday night into early Monday. Maybe another stray shower Monday night. Otherwise, the next seven days look very dry with our fair share of sunshine in the forecast. This weekend's warm. Next week is not.